It all started on March 14th, 1944. That was the day I lost my freedom, and it was the beginning of the end of my people. I think I see the juice. Hey, Bardich, you take a look. them too. Let's get them. Let's go. I was happily playing with my brother, Ben. We were so innocent back then when the guards came for us. Catch us those guards. Yeah. Not in Nazi Germany, you Jews. What did yeah. we do? Oh, 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 I did what nothing did we wrong. Do? They were aggressive, those guards. And I had so many thoughts racing through my head. Where are we going? Why are we being taken there? What have we done wrong? But no matter how much I asked those guards, they never answered my questions as they led my brother and I to the train. And then they shoved us inside the train. Get in here. I'm yeah, going, move. Going move here. Okay. Goodbye, Jews. Have a nice trip. Where are they taking us, Ben? I don't know, Daniel. Have you heard rumors of the concentration camps? Like Barkow? Yes. Even worse. Bedford. No. Oh. What have we done? Why is this happening? What have we done? <laughs> Those poor Jews, they're dying. The train came to a sudden stop. We had arrived at Birkenau, Bedford. Hey, you Jews, it's time to come out. Come on, carry out all the dead. By carrying out those poor dead Jews, it was the first step in my dehumanization. After we got out of the train and set down the dead bodies, the SS guard forced us into a line. It was selection time. My only wish was to stay with my brother, Ben. Hey, Jews, come over here. Come. All right, I'm going. I'm coming. How old are you? Uh, I'm 12, sir. You head this way. And how old are you? I'm 18. You go in this direction. During selection, I was separated from my brother, and he tried to run away. But through the confusion, I was able to stay with him. After selection, we were given new clothes, and the guards led us to our barracks. Guard, don't hurt me. Don't say anything. Just continue walking. Where are you taking us? Don't ask the question. Come on. Where do we go? Just get in there. Get in, get in the box. How do we go in there? Just get in there. These are our box? Yes, get in. Oh, my God. Oh. Please, have mercy on us. No, just get in. Oh, no. And stay there. The next day, we woke up early to start our work. Hey, wake up, you good for nothings. Get out. Okay, I'm, I'm awake, I'm awake. Uh, yes, come on, faster, faster. What? what okay, do come on, start walking, start walking. Yes. Yes, go that way. Start jogging, what, what, yes, what, what, start okay. jogging. Okay. Hey, get to work. Okay, it's hard. Day after day, we were assigned with building a brick wall. The bricks were very heavy, and it was a back-breaking task. Hey, Jews, here's your bread. Every day, we were given a small crust of bread. Our hunger was so great that it drove my brother and I to fight with each other. One day, our work was not to perfection. The SS guard then came to brutally beat us. This was very commonplace in our camp. Then came a second selection. Hey, Jude, Dr. Mangle wants to see you. Line up for selection. Come on, get the 
take a move on. Yes. Juice, start running. Very good. Next. Uh. <laughs> ben, Ben, are you okay? What happened? What Brother, happened? Miguel. My name no, no, no. Have faith in God. No. Ben. I'm sure he did. No, he didn't. You're, not, you're gonna live it. It's all gonna be okay. Have faith in God. What am I gonna God do? God is protecting us. What am I gonna Have do? Have faith. It's okay, it's okay. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's okay. We soon forgot about the selection. Mangel, however, kept his promise. Three, 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 eight, two, two. That's Come here. Is this me? What do you want? You're going to take a shower. Wait, wait, wait. Let me say no. my goodbyes. Dang up. Maybe the last time I see you. No. Goodbye, brother. Come no. here, you're no. too slow. No, no, no. Wait, wait, no, no, please, don't do that to me. No, no, no. I'm not going in there. I'm not going. I'm not. No. No. Initially, I was extremely sad over my brother's death, no. but I knew I couldn't grieve for long. I had to get back to work. Hey, Q, go back to your bunk now. Hey. I never got to properly mourn my brother's death because I couldn't stay sad for long. But how could I? After all, I didn't have to fight for bread anymore and I had more chances for survival. I could finally take care of myself. This was what the camp had turned me into. One day, I had completely given up. I was ready to embrace death, but death himself came and knocked on my door first. Hey, you! Uh, what are you doing? Uh, you can't even bark now! You're dead to me! <laughs> Was it true? Had the camps really been liberated? I ran to the gates to check. Is it over? Is it, am I free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has been 70 years since my liberation. All that happened so long ago, but it feels like it was just yesterday. Although I tried to forget those memories, they always come back to haunt me. But there's some things one can never forget. I'll never forget my brother Ben and the terrible conditions and that hell that was broken now. Through my horrible life, I was able to survive to tell you my story. It is through this account that I tell the following generations that such heinous crimes should never again be committed on this earth.